Welcome back, artistic family, to Shannon Gibson Art and Designs, and to today's pour. And what I'm going to do, guys, is multiple puddles. So I'm doing one huge puddle, and then I'm going to wreck it. I'm using some of my staples. I will uh, let you know what colors they are as I'm putting them on the canvas. This is a repour on a 10 by 10 back staple. And let's go ahead, guys, and get started. So first, I'm just going to lay a puddle of black. I'm going to try not to go overboard, guys, because when I just pour paint instead of laying it in a cup, I often overdo it. And there's another drop. And it was so funny. The other day, guys, I was thinking about <laughs> going back in so many videos and putting a compilation together of my drips, like a blooper drip. Like, how funny would that be? So uh, it's something I might do in the future just so we could all have a really good laugh. Okay, so now I'm going to lay a puddle of gold. I'm going to add gold a few times. So I really don't want to overdo it. I say that. And I've got a huge mess here, as you guys can see. I've been mixing up paint for several pours that I had uh, some conceptual pours is what I'd like to call them because sometimes I just go in and have fun, let my creative juices flow. And then sometimes I have a plan and I change midway and then sometimes I have a conceptual plan and it follows through and it ends up being absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so the black, the gold, the copper. We're going to do another large puddle of the black here. We're going to add some bronze in there. going to add a little bit more copper. I have no silicone or anything in my paints, guys, at all. I just have water and Liquitex gloss pouring medium, which is my usual pouring medium. And I also have a tiny bit of silver. Okay. And then we're going to go in with a tiny bit black and that's it that looks super pretty guys super pretty so now what I'm gonna do is just go around this bad boy And let me get out one of my brocret skewers and let's go ahead and wreck this, guys. All right, so let's just bring this to the edge a little bit just to help it flow. I really love these uh, new skewers, guys. Absolutely love them. Okay, so let me give it one quick torch while my hands are clean. Those of you who haven't seen my beautiful torch up close, love it. Those of you who have are probably tired of hearing me say it. <laughs> and again, I'm not looking for any cells, guys. I've played a lot with cells, and if I get some, great. But uh, I have lots of metallics in here, and my paints are uh, a little bit, I, I'll call it a trace, because they're a, lot, a little bit thinner than my slight mound. Okay. So, let's make a design here. Let me get my paper towel. Let's come out here. And I really love doing this, guys. I really love creating this way, like literally raw creating. just want a little bit more black in the center there guys okay there we are now I'm hoping more of that copper comes out but that's really 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 pretty so let's go ahead and tilt it take you guys back out a bit so you can see okay so I'm 
just going to go nice and slow, guys. Going slow is the best. It's what helps you keep your composition. Okay. I already know that I want to keep that corner. Oh, it's so beautiful already. I really want that center to open up because I want some more of that copper. See how you move the paint back and forth and you start to get some different patterns. But if you just go off with your paint immediately, then you don't know what you're going to get. Oh, wow, that's gorgeous. And again, that gold and the bronze and when I have those together you get that gorgeous shadow just stunning guys just stunning um, I'm actually gonna add some black here guys just up along the sides see what I mean I knew I put too much paint on the canvas I'm losing all my black. I'm losing all my black. So, I'm going to do another one. Ooh, that's pretty. It's really pretty. Loving that. Okay, so let's go off here. Ooh, guys, this is gorgeous. And the other thing I love too about doing this with those skewers, I mean, you could use anything those lines the very thin stringy lines is what I call them and I love that okay let me take a look this is gorgeous okay just move this around I'm trying to figure out what pattern I want to keep here okay so let's come down here Oof. yeah that's beautiful Oh my gosh, let's just swing that around again. I don't want to lose all my silver either. Okay, and let's just come down this end here. Stretch that out. Wow. Oh, the shimmer. The shimmer on this is amazing. All right, so we're just going to come down this side just a bit more. Back to center. Wow. Absolutely gorgeous. Easy peasy. Let me go in and take you guys in for a close-up.